Notice how that last dribble is harder and faster than the other one. Bang, boom, one, two. It speeds up. We get to see it again here. Float, boom, one, two. That's really the float, boom, one, two we're looking for. Float patience, float patience, and then you hit it hard. That speed translates into speed of your release, and that speed translates into the same groove, the same rhythm to make more. Here's a beautiful float by Matt McClung. Float, float, boom, one, two. Check it. Float, float, boom, one, two. The boom, one, two is not a move, but it creates great separation. It's a finisher, it's a shot maker. We gotta see that again. That's just so good. This is how you should be training. Float it, float it. Hard, boom, once you rise, groove it. Float, float, boom, once you, look at that. Eyes up on the gather, eyes up on the gather. Lily Thompson, great peak fake here, and this is really a level two type of a boom, once you. You'll get a lot of these as a level two shooter. They run you off the line, boom, once you. Notice the difference between the first and second dribble by Lily here. Cover ground, boom, one, two. It's harder, it's faster, it's quicker, it's short, choppy steps. Boom, one, two. Oh man, let's look at Jokic, he's backing up. Check it, right here in this hard boom, one, two by Kyrie. Watch Jokic here. Kyrie goes at him so hard and so fast, he's backing up, that's how it creates separation. We'll, we'll, we'll do it in slow motion for you. Did you see it? Let's watch it back. Watch Jokic. He's backing up because Kyrie is dribbling so hard and fast and with his shoulders low here that it's putting Jokic back. That's what you want to do with the boom one two when attacking a drop hedge. Really nice float into a boom one two. End of game, game winner. These are the game winners. You get to see it again, putting the de defender back. Watch the defense, number 10. Watch it, here we go. Watch number 10 on defense. He's still moving backwards as we're rising up into the shot. So it's not about a dribble move, it's float, float. Go hard, get him moving backwards, stick it with your boom one two. You got separation, you got game winners. Devin Booker, one of the best to do the boom one two. Float, float, hard, boom one two. Look how quick that ball comes off the ground for Booker and off his fingertips. One smooth motion, that ball does not stop. Off the ground, off his fingertips. It's like the ground is shooting the ball. PGC grad, Kristen Confer. Here's a level two situation. So she, my apologies, a level three shooter situation. She is a good three point shooter. And so they run her off the line. So she's gotta have level three, just to pull up off the runoff. Oh, that's so good by Kobe. Float to the boom one two. Float, boom one two. Come on. Only. So let's say you, you beat me with an in and out right here, and then you're, you're going past me. And then pull up. Okay, so that's your pull up. Beautiful. Show me that one more time without me. All right? That takes a lot of time and energy for you to go back, sprint in, practice that. I'm going to give you groove shots, which is a phenomenal way to minimize all the energy, but still practice the rhythm. So it's called boom one, two. The boom is your dribble. The one, two is your steps. There are four points of emphasis I want you to focus on and I'm gonna teach through, okay? Number one, you're gonna take a hard pounding dribble with one hand. The harder it is, the quicker it gets you up into your jump shot. Every time, boom, one, two. Good, try again. Pound that ball as hard as you can. It comes above your shoulder, okay? But as I'm penetrating in, it's gonna be above my shoulder. So get it above my shoulder. Good. You feel how it's hard to control it? So first point of emphasis, whatever direction you go, you're gonna pound that basketball. Second point of emphasis is you're gonna lower your inside shoulder. If Ian goes to his left, his inside shoulder would be his right, right? You gotta think about where is that defender? And why you lower your inside shoulder is to convince the defense that you're still going to the rim. If I were to pull up and my shoulders are up, it looks like I'm pulling up. When my shoulder, my inside shoulder goes down, it looks like I'm penetrating. And this is what made MJ and Maya Moore and Kobe Bryant pull up so effective is they lower that inside shoulder. So before you take your boom, you're gonna go here, boom, one, two. Third point of emphasis is short, 
choppy steps. So start with your toes on the free throw line and then put your toes where your heels were. Just, you're gonna basically go the distance of your feet. Short choppy steps, boom, one, two. Short choppy, whatever direction you go, that foot hits last. So if you're going to your right, the right foot will hit last. If you're going to your left, the left foot will squeak last. But I want you to finish before the free throw line. That's the challenging thing. It's, it's easy to go, if you lower your shoulder, your body wants to take big steps. The shorter steps you, you take, the more separation you're gonna gain from your defender. Hard pounding dribble, lower that shoulder, boom, one, two, good, freeze. See how you're past the free throw line. Short, choppy steps. Short, choppy steps. Boom, one, two, beautiful. And then fourth point of emphasis, after you shoot, footprint, stick your landing. So it's just balance, right? I want you to land before the free throw line because you should take off from before the free throw line. Lower that shoulder, pound it. Choppy, good, that was choppy. Quicker and choppier. Boom, boom, good. Even choppier, squeak that sneaker. Nice. See a high level athlete hold himself to a high degree of precision, right? Working on finishing before the free throw line. Pound that basketball, short and choppy. Yes! So you just got better, right? I said every two out of 10, if you're going hard enough, you should lose it. Get excited on mistakes. What's that self-talk we worked on at the beginning of our workout? Ian, you're gonna start shooting. I'm gonna rebound for you. If you have a rebounder, great. Do not rebound for yourself. You're gonna go for 15 minutes, right, left, right, left, right, left, every time. You can never pound the ball hard, hard enough. You can never be quick enough in your choppy steps. 